how are you going to write a story about Akira Toriyama based on somebody else's facts and still get everything wrong and start up a whole new controversy in the Dragon Ball community? How do you do all that? That is insane. It didn't feel right. Dragon Ball creator reveals why he quit drawing manga. What? This is one of the most sensational Dragon Ball centric titles that I've seen for an article in quite some time because if you really take it at face value the way that you see it right here and I would tell you right now that at least a couple thousand if not more maybe close to 10 to 20,000 people depending how many people watch screen right I mean look at their subscriber number that's a lot of people depending how many people are caught up on their actual website they all now believe that Akira Toriyama refused to draw manga and quit Dragon Ball for that long and quit drawing manga in general for that long because he lost something that was near and dear to him. This sensational line is just a fabrication and I have the man here to prove it. Derek Padula, the creator of the Dragon Ball Culture book and a huge member of our community posted this Akira Toriyama has used the same pen for 51 years. He bought his pen holder when he was 14 years old and he used it to ink every manga he's ever drawn, including DBZ. But because his office is so messy, he often has to search for it before working. Oh my god. What should happen if he loses this pen? Does this mean we don't get Dragon Ball for like 20 some years? Akira Toriyama states, this pen holder has been my faithful companion since I started using it at age 14. As a child, I wasn't that interested in drawing manga, so I bought it almost accidentally. I usually shorten the handles to my pen holders because I draw worse with the long ones. I've modified this one so the nib is inserted deeper inside. Since becoming a professional illustrator, I've had to buy several pen holders, but in the end, I always come back to this one, and I've used it in all the pages I've drawn, but I'm careless about using it and I always have to search for it because I don't know where I put it last. Since I've been drawing less lately, I had to move heaven and earth to find it. It took me more than half an hour to find it this time just to take this photo. Akira Toriyama, this is the photo in question, this is the pen in question. Sandland was finished by scanning the ink paper manuscript into a computer and using software to apply solid colors in my own tones. I probably hardly slept at all after finishing all the projects. I lost my beloved wooden pen holder that I had been using since before my debut. It was a pen holder that had become familiar to my hand over a long time, being carved and worn down with a knife and sandpaper. It was a pen holder that had become familiar to my hand over a long period of time. I bought a new pen holder and tried sharpening it this way and that, but it just didn't feel right. Since then, I have used it as an excuse for hardly drawing any manga. Laugh. This is intended as a joke. But this title says to the entire world, even if you are not going to read the article and you kind of walk past it or scroll past it, it says that he stopped because of this. Derek Padula took to Twitter to clear up his name because he is the one that posted the original tweet and translated everything. There are misleading articles about Akira Toriyama being attributed to my translated work, claiming that Toriyama chose not to draw Dragon Ball Super and other manga because he lost his favorite pen. That is not true. He only misplaced his pen in his messy office for a short while in 2000 after drawing Sandland. He tried other pens but said they didn't feel right in his hand. He then joked that he used this as an excuse for not drawing as much. This was not Toriyama's reason for choosing not to illustrate Dragon Ball for 15 years later. In fact, in 2008, he joked that it took him 30 minutes to find the pen to take the picture with it for the interview that I translated from Dragon Ball El Manga Legendario. Perhaps the journalist could contact me to ask about these things before publishing misleading articles and citing me as their evidence. In any case, don't believe these articles or videos on the subject. That is insane that a huge company like Screen Rant would take this poor man's translated work and bastardize it and say to the entire world that Akira Toriyama stopped drawing Dragon Ball for 15 years because he lost his favorite pen. It was a joke and he did lose a pen but he found it again 30 minutes later it's in the picture that is to clear everything up because i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this article and 
don't know what the hell he's talking about, don't know what the hell is going on, and I wanted to clear everything up for you guys. I am not surprised by this because Screen Rant is in the same neighborhood as CBR when it comes to their articles specifically. They're very misleading, they're trash, the lists are trash, and they're usually made fun of in the larger fandom of whatever the article is going to be. If it's about Star Wars, the fandom for Star Wars knows it's bullcrap. Dragon Ball, same thing. Pokemon, everything going on, they know that these are probably the worst when it comes to journalistic, not only articles and faith, but integrity. It is a terrible, terrible, terrible website, including CBR, and I'm glad that Derek Padula posted this stuff on Twitter so that way he can get his name out there and clear it up a little bit. I'm assuming he's getting a lot of emails and a lot of DMs about people asking him, is this true? Can I write you? Can I source you? Things like that. He needed to clear it up, but I'm here to help him out. So make sure if you see anybody and anybody tells you this bullshit, it was a lie. It was faked by a giant conglomerate like Screen Rant because they wanted the views. Subscribe for more content.